Solving another log equation, here we've got addition outside, that's multiplication inside. So this will be equal to log of x times x minus 3 on the left, and then a 1 on the right. And then this is log, uh, log base 10 of xx minus 3. So you undo log base 10 with 10 to a power. So I'll rewrite here, and then we're going to exponentiate. So 10 to the power log base 10 of xx minus 3 equals 10 to the power 1. So 10 and log base 10 cancel out cancellation loss, so we're left with xx minus 3 is equal to 10 to the first, which is 10. And now let's multiply our x in. So x squared minus 3x equals 10. Now subtract 10 on both sides. So this comes over as a negative. x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal 0. And now let's FOIL backwards. So we've got x and x in our first slots. And then factors of negative 10 that add up to negative 3. So how about minus 5 and positive 2? And that equals 0. And so if a product is 0, one of the factors is 0. So x minus 5 is equal to 0. Or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Plus. Um, add 5 on both sides so that negative 5 comes over as a positive or uh, subtract 2 on both sides, that positive 2 comes over as a negative. So, and then you always want to double check. So if you put that 5 in there, log of 5 plus log of 2, uh, well, this would be log of 5 times 2, which is log of 10. And log base 10 of 10 is indeed 1. So this one checks. But x equal negative 2, when you put that in here, you've got log of negative 2. In here, you'll have negative 2 minus 3, log of negative 5, not defined. So this one does not check. That's an extraneous solution. So our solution here is x equal 5.